Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. So I'm sitting here enjoying my afternoon playing some Apex Legends. Like really enjoying my afternoon. I'm eating junk food. Sipping some brewskis. Until I ran out of brewski mid game. Babe. And instead of getting up to get myself another brewski, I did what any other boyfriend would do. Babe, can you give me another beer? I know she hear me calling her. And reluctantly, she came and got me another beer. Boy, she tossed that shit to me like I was Stone Cold Steve Austin. Hold up. This isn't a beer. I, I don't know what this is. Looks like a beer. Doesn't sound like a beer. I don't know if I should be mad, confused, excited. What the hell is this? Hmm, so it's a camera in the shape of a beer. Who would have thought? Not me. So what do I do with this beer camera? Do I just sit it on my desk with all the other knickknacks? Or should I go out and shoot with it? So yes, this is a dramatic, elaborated video about me shooting with a plastic beer camera. But before we get this video started, I do want to let y'all know that I am a Modelo boy. Just trying to make it. Oh, I'm a Modelo boy. I'ma just keep it like Modelo boy. Modelo boy. Just trying to make it. All right, so first things first. On my way to take some portraits with this camera. Barbie, let's go party. I 100% was not listening to that. I swear to you, I wasn't listening to that. But I was listening to this. All right, so now I'm linking up with Tori, and we greeted each other how any other black man would greet each other. But his hands was kind of soft, so I really wasn't trying to let go. <laughs> my bad, my bad. So I've shot some of my favorite photos that I've taken in my photography career with my homie Tori. But I was excited to show him that Today we'll be shooting with, not one of my professional cameras, but this beer camera. Bro, are you serious? And all he could do was laugh. <laughs> this nigga just pulled out a can, nigga. <laughs> I'm crying, bro. That nigga opened it like, nah, nigga, it's a can. And honestly, I appreciate Toby for always being down to shoot, no matter what I show up to shoot with. So after I dangerously God, walked damn, up this bro. man's stairs with both cameras in hand, seriously, bro, next time it snows, you need to shovel your steps, because that's dangerous. <laughs> for real, bro. Jeez. And then I walked inside and played a game of tug of war with snow. The cutest pit bull the world's ever seen. And I clearly let him win. Then I got down to the nitty gritty and started shooting with Toby. Also, don't worry about my clothes being different. I clearly shot this on two different days. Just pretend like this is all the same day. <laughs> so as y'all can tell, some of the compositions on these photos are quite terrible. And that's because I don't think the viewfinder lines up well at all with the lens of this camera. I would love to pretend and act like the photos that I'm about to take with this plastic camera it's finna be fire. But when it comes down to it, this is just a disposable plastic, well, a reusable disposable plastic camera. So then I changed my clothes again and headed out to shoot some photos around the city. So one thing I kind of like about aftermath snowstorms is that when the sun comes out, it kind of creates these beautiful scenes where the street is just completely white. The trees have no leaves on them. And 
there's just something kind of nostalgic and I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it, but I love the way these scenes look. I'm not gonna lie, I love shooting in Detroit for a lot of reasons, but you see a lot of interesting things when you're walking around Detroit. Like this comic book Jesus mural. I like it. I didn't really wanna shoot this because it's not that interesting to me outside of it being colorful, but the snow is fresh, and I do like being the first person to mess up some good fresh snow. So I decided to fuck the snow up, let people know this is my territory, don't come around here. And lastly, I pulled up to this abandoned spot, which made for some high contrast and dynamic scenes. Wasn't feeling too good about the photos I was going to take, but then I remembered it may be a plastic camera, but I am shooting film. And we all know if it's shot on film, doesn't matter what camera it was shot through. <coughs> But I'm gonna have to be honest, there is a little something I love about this camera. And I don't know if that's because I can fit it in my pocket and make people think that I'm just walking around with a soda, or it could just be because it goes with the fit. When I heard music echo through the night, the same old songs that I heard the night before. So I started running so I wouldn't be too late. But anyway, after all of that was over, I decided I was gonna head home, but not before fucking up some more fresh snow that nobody else has stepped in yet. But in the middle of all of this, my homie Cam called me and he wanted me to give y'all a special message. This recording? Yeah. What's up y'all? It's your boy Cam, AKA Big Homie Boomin. Just wanna give a shout out to y'all for tuning in to a new Belandis video. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> <laughs> all right bro <laughs> but again this wraps up the narration for this video but here's future Valandis to give y'all his deepest thoughts about this plastic beer camera when i got home i decided it's time to tell y'all about the sponsor of this video which is skillshare yo what, what, what are you doing yeah you bro tell them about skillshare so if you want to learn more about photography, Skillshare is the place to do that. But the cool thing about Skillshare is that it's not just a place where you can learn about one thing. You can learn about an endless amount of things on Skillshare, whether that's animation, photography, videography, logo design, and even cooking. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, so there's never any ads and they're always launching new and premium classes. One class that I'm interested in right now is one by digital storyteller Halise. In this class, she goes over upgrading your videos for Instagram. And whether that's editing, picking out your themes, or whether that's just trying to figure out making engaging Instagram content, Halise has you covered. So the first 1,000 people to sign up using that link in my description will get a free one month trial to Skillshare. And as always, Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. All right, so now I hope you guys enjoyed that little video of this little plastic beer camera. So a few things that I'm going to go over since this video is not 10 minutes. All right, so for one, if I one day want to be one of the greatest film photography YouTubers, I have to shoot with one of these cameras. For two, the pictures and photos that come out of this camera are garbage, hot garbage, awful, terrible not good at all. It's basically the equivalent of photos that come out of disposable cameras that you can buy at CVS, Rite Aid, or Walgreens. I will even go as far as to say that the photos that you get out of the disposable cameras from drugstores are better than the photos you'd get out of this camera. In some of the photos, you can see the plastic lens that comes from this camera. And to be honest, we're not, we're not watching this video. I'm not taking photos with this camera expecting the photos to be amazing especially when i myself subconsciously compare it to photos that i take with my Leica m6 or my rz or any other professional film camera but but this isn't a professional camera whatsoever it is indeed a knickknack something that you would sit on your shelf something that you would you know have friends come over and you'll talk to them about it and they'll be like what's that and you'll be like ah glad you asked it's a camera 
shaped like a beer, then they'll probably be like, why? And then be like, I don't know. And then they'll ask you how much money you spent on that. Then you'll say $200 and they'll be like, why? And you'll be like, I don't know. Also, another thing I wanted to mention is that I know that people probably would want you to go out and, well, people would probably want to see me or any other photographer take this camera out and shoot very professional things with it or things that are interesting or things that are that you would probably normally shoot on your professional camera and see if you can take photos with this camera and see if they'll still be good just so you can be like see it's not the camera it's the photographer but at the end of the day can you take decent photos with something like this sure you can but it's hard for me to justify wasting my good film and wasting kind of i'm not gonna say wasting my time but like putting a lot of effort into something i don't know for youtube or like clicks and likes and stuff like that or likes or just for people to you know give me praise for taking very good photos on a very bad camera but i personally don't have the desire to do too much of that so i just went out and took photos of whatever which is also what i would do with any other camera but hey here we are. But anyway, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, got something out of it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor. Consider subscribing. Consider liking the video. Consider commenting. If you already do those things, I'm not talking to you because you already do what you have to do. So let's get up out of here, man. Let's go do some shit. You know the vibes. Let's get it.